nowadays we pay a lot for car fuel. The question is, what happens to the fuel energy? How much of the fuel energy is used and how much is lost? The answer is shocking. In a combined city highway driving, about 70% of fuel energy is lost due to engine imperfections. Therefore, the potential to use advanced technologies to increase fuel efficiency is enormous. One of these technologies is regenerative shock absorber, the subject of my presentation. First, let me explain what the shock absorber is and how it works. In any driving, some amount of energy is converting to a bothering energy, which is vibration. If the vibration reaches the passenger seats, make them uncomfortable. Therefore, in any car, we have a device which is called shock absorber. The shock absorber captures the vibration and provides us right comfort. The point is, a conventional shock absorber cannot save any energy. This device converts the captured energy to heat and wastes the energy. In other words, by utilizing a conventional shock absorber, right comfort is achieved at the expense of fuel waste. However, by utilizing a regenerative shock absorber, the scenario is different. A regenerative shock absorber captures the vibration and provides us right comfort. But instead of wasting energy, this system converts the vibration to electrical energy and saves it in a battery. As a result, by utilizing a regenerative shock absorber, we can provide right comfort. In addition, we can increase fuel efficiency. In my PhD thesis, I designed and implemented a novel, simple, regenerative shock absorber sized for a passenger car. And through some experiments, I proved its appropriate performance in terms of ride comfort and energy conversion. You can see one of the pictures of this system in the slide. At the end of my presentation, I should mention that this system is a multi-application system. For example, this system can be scaled up and used in a mining truck, or can be scaled down and used in an ocean boat. Thank you very much. <laughs>